Yay! It's so itchy, you guys have no idea. Oh, I don't want to rip it off. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video part of my 31 days of Halloween. Before I get into what the hell is on my face right now, click on the subscribe link or button down below and subscribe to my channel because I am bringing you so much good stuff. How could you miss out on it? Don't worry, there's more to come after October too. So, don't miss out on everything and hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. So guys, long story short. I don't want this intro to be long as hell, but let's just have a tiny itsy bitsy little story time right now. Okay, go. So, this video is in collaboration with Bonnie. We are doing a Guardians of the Galaxy inspired collab. And here I am wearing this thing on my face. So I was really hesitant on doing any of the other characters besides the girl from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm not a fan of the movie. I've never seen the movie, so I can't even judge being a fan or not. Um, I guess at this point I should probably go watch it now. <laughs> but... Um, I would just, I was having such difficulty trying to figure out which character I wanted to do. I definitely wanted to do a main character, and I was like, this is the only girl, and then Groot is too hard, and this and that and the other thing. And I was like, hold on. I'm doing these 31 days of Halloween, and I'm sharing videos with you guys, but I'm also learning at the same time, and I'm trying to build my passion and build my talent. So I was like, why am I not going to do Groot? Because it's literally the hardest character of them all. Why? So I was like, let's go for it. Let's try something new. Let's do something new. Holy shit, this is so itchy though. And you know what? I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and do something that I've never done before. So I've done special effects before, but I've never done anything like this. I did take a little bit of time to find inspiration and look up how to kind of go about something like this. So I did take, holy balls. So I did take a lot of inspiration from this one girl. She was part of the NYX Nordics, I think that's how you say it, awards. Um, I believe her name is Elsie or Essie or something like that and she is just bomb with her special effects so amazing so I kind of just recreated her technique or followed her technique on how she did her Groot inspired makeup I'm gonna link her video down below for you guys um, I just wanted to let you know that because she's just friggin amazing and um, couldn't have done this without her so Without further ado, I hope that you guys enjoy this collaboration video and let's just like jump into it because it's 3 a.m. I gotta go to bed. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to start out with some latex. So these little pieces that you see me putting on my body are made of latex and I'm using latex to get them to stick to my body. So I'm going to link the video down below of this girl that I was inspired by to create this look. Um, and she did this whole process, explained it perfectly. And I was like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to explain this to you guys. So I'm just going to link her video below. So if you want to learn how to do what I'm doing right now, then just click on her video to watch. But basically what I'm doing is I'm putting down a layer of latex and then I'm putting some more latex on top. These are little latex pieces that I made. Um, this is going to give that texture of almost like a tree, which is what we want. So you'll see me putting them down and then I'm going to put a little bit more latex on top to get them to fully stick and stay. 
Now for this little piece right here, this is a piece of cardboard. Um, to, I wanted to show you guys this part because um, I was a little concerned on how to get it to stick because I was just like, what? Like, how is this going to actually stick? Um, you do the exact same thing that you do with the latex. You're going to take a piece of cardboard, um, you're going to put a little latex on where it's going to sit on your head, and you're also going to put latex on your head where it's going to sit. So um, I just dried it a little bit, and then once it got like a little tacky right before it started to dry, I um, just put it down. And then I did the exact same thing um, with the latex on that piece of cardboard. As you could see, I'm just kind of leaving it in little spaces so that it kind of gives the depth of a tree trunk. Um, and then you'll see me go back later and kind of just add a couple more um, pieces of latex. I'm going to dry it a little bit with a hair dryer. This is like a lifesaver if you guys try this out. Seriously. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply another piece of cardboard right to the side of my face and then do the exact same steps with that latex again. So once that the latex So once the latex is all dry guys I took a little break because this is taking me forever. Um, and then I just used some foundation and I applied a base coat all over this. I don't know why I applied foundation to it first, but I just felt like it was a great base coat to start with um, because the tree's brown anyway. So what I did after covering my entire um, little tree bark side with foundation is I actually painted it brown. So I just skipped through all of that. I literally just painted it brown, guys. Nothing special. I used Snazaroo paint. I mixed a little bit of white, black, and brown together of the paints um, and then you could see here I'm just going into the Makeup Forever flash palette into the brown into the dark brown that they have there and into a little bit of black just to add a little bit of depth so I'm going in between the little cracks of all those latex pieces that I put on so then after that I added some green some white just to kind of give this a little bit more dimension I wanted this look to be a little bit more cartoonized so you'll see me add in a couple of different colors to kind of make it look a little more alive so here um, my camera died I was having like a tough time with my camera guys like you have no idea you have no idea um, and I really wanted to show you guys this look. So basically what I did from that step to this one where we're at now is I added in a couple of shadows. So you'll see like a reddish brown shadow, an orangey shadow, and then this um, dark green shadow. You want to kind of keep mixing all of the colors together so that it gives you a lot of texture. Once I've added all the texture to the Groot side, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the cute little pretty side. So I decided to just put the same foundation on that I used on the as the base of the Groot side. So I'm just taking a sponge and using that all over my face. And then I'm taking that orangey brown shadow. These shadows are actually from a company called TKB Trading. Um, I bought them so long ago, but they're amazing and so, so pigmented. Um, but I'm just applying that in almost like a smoky way. And then I took a mixture of the red and the brown shadow and used it as my bronzer. And then I'm just going to blend out that eyeshadow. For the brows, I just brushed them out with my Benefit Brow Gimme Brow. And this is in the color dark, medium slash dark. And then I used the brown paint from Snazaroo to kind of make my brows, I don't know, thicker and a little more round. And then I used my Vegas Nay lashes um, and I doubled them up. They're the Shining Star lashes. And then I put on some highlight. This is more of like not an in-your-face highlight, but more of just a very natural highlight. Added that to all the highlight areas. For the lips, I used a green and like an emerald green eyeliner and just filled my lips in with that and that completed the lips and then I'm just gonna move on to some details I decided to add some like reindeer and plant moss to the side if I had sticks I would have added sticks too um, but that completes this look Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I truly, truly hope that you enjoyed and I hope that, you know what, you guys will step out of your comfort zone, whether you like to do makeup, hair, other things that I have no idea how to do or anything like that. I hope that you'll step out of your comfort zone and do something different and face your fears and just go for it.
because that's what I did, and look how it turned out. Brr. I think it turned out pretty good, no? For my first try ever, it's something special effects-y like this. Thank you guys so much again. I hope that you'll subscribe and thumbs up this video. Oh, I don't know what more to say. I love yous. I love yous. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't really know how this is going to go. I got my coconut oil here. And we're just going to go for it. Ooh. I feel free. Oh my god. Oh boy. Ew. She keep this so if I ever want to try it again. <laughs> Oh, this one's gonna hurt. This one's on my hair. <laughs> oh my god. It's been pulling any of my hair out. Oh my god. Stuck on my hair. We pulled out some hair. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I look tan. Tan and scary. Tan and scary. Oh, so itchy everywhere. I don't recommend this. I don't recommend this at all. Save my eyebrow. Save the eyebrow. Guys, I'm not trying to lose my eyebrow this month. No. No way, Jose. I think we saved it. It's saved. Oh my god. I don't know about this hair, though. Oof. If you see me in my next video, that means I lived. <laughs> I look so clean. Oh my goodness. So clean.